Victorious yet again. And Gary, do you feel like that was your best performance against your biggest opponent thus far in your UFC career? I feel like it was exactly how it was meant to be. I knew, I said it to you guys all fight week, you were there in that press conference, in the, in the fighter uh, meeting, when we talked to the comm team, and I said it, that right kick was going to be instrumental in this win, was to just keep his elbow pinned, make him worried about it, and then inevitably go high with it. So it played out exactly as I, as I had envisioned it and imagined it. You know, what made you say that? Was it like intense film study? Are you picking up on his habits? What lent you to say, this is how I'm going to win? So it was actually... It was actually a friend of mine. I was sparring with a southpaw, Fabian Edwards. Congrats to him, by the way. He won on Bellator the other night. He's just earned himself a title in Bellator. Um, or a title shot, should I say. And it was sparring with him. I, w I didn't really want to be at sparring, but I did it just to kind of keep myself sharp. Um, I was in Birmingham to learn and grow my skill set, and I didn't want to spar, and I was getting frustrated. And he kept landing these big body kicks to me. I'm like, I cannot throw my right hand. And I was like, that's just such... in like." such good knowledge to have like to get that happen to you and then use that in your next fight is how you learn and grow so yeah that was where i actually learned it from so shout out to my, my boy uh, fabian great team up there in birmingham you know obviously you talk about this nomadic lifestyle but you are very particular with your plan yes. however i saw a meeting of the minds ian you guys were just over there yeah. and it was like the biggest wigs at the ufc <laughs> and you and i'm wondering now is the plan a little different what's Tell me all about that combo. So I, I was uh, in a little meeting, should we say, with the, uh, the big boys, with uh, Dana, Hunter, and Sean Shelby. And we just spoke about it. I said to them, hey, have you heard about my six-fight plan? And they said, no. I said, I want to fight two guys in the top 15, two guys in the top 10, two guys in the top five. And I said, do you want to know why? And he goes, why? So because I never want anyone to ever doubt my success. I never want any question marks on my career. I said, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to earn everything and get it my way. And he said, I love it. I love that for you. Quickly, before I let you go, you talk about Neil Magny. However, Neil Magny is matched up in the end of June yes, with Phil is. Rowe. Do you, do you want to wait for that fight? Would you like to call out somebody else? I mean... I, I, I knew Neil Magny had the fight. The point is, Neil Magny has been that guy for that for however long. When Kamzak came into the division, Magny was calling him out. Magny's been on the cusp of that top 10, and everybody that beats Magny goes on and has success. So for me... That's why, and when you look at the last people he's fought, Jimmy's fought D-Rod, he's fought Gilbert Burns, he's fought Shavkat, now he's fighting Phil Rowe, I still want Magny no matter what because he's ranked number 11 in the world right now. Excellent. Well, listen, Ian, we cannot wait to see you back in the octagon. I know that your fan base continues to grow and your confidence does as well, but you are always just as kind as the first time we interacted. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.